Well, good morning. Yes, it is Wednesday and you're with George at Growth Point going through life. Hopefully growing as well as you go through life. Yes, this is what we want to do. We want to see people grow in the understanding of who they are in Christ Jesus. And we have been speaking about being a watchman. And today, watchmen know the voice of God. <laughs> Come on, as simple as this. If you are a watchman, and if you have invited Jesus Christ to be Lord and Savior of your life, then you should be hearing the voice of of God, knowing the voice of God. How do I know the voice of God? How do I get to, to hear the voice of God? Well, through His Word. God has never spoken to me audibly. But you know what? I believe every time I pick up the Word of God and I read it, it's God speaking to me. If I want to hear the audible voice of God, I read out the Bible aloud. God speaking to me. So, so we need to find the voice of God. How do I find the voice of God? Staying in the Word of God, reading the Word of God. You know, it's wonderful today that you have various apps. You can even listen to the Bible. Isn't that wonderful? Download the app. It's audible. You can drive to work listening to the Word of God. There is no excuse that you do not get yourself filled up with the Word of God. It, there are so many tools available today to help you. Now, a true born-again Christian knows the voice of God and the voice of the Antichrist. <laughs> now, there are many Antichrists around. Let me tell you, you, you can just listen uh, to, to various people preaching who claim to be preachers, and you will know that they are not in the truth of the Word of God. You see, when Lot was told to leave Sodom and Gomorrah, what was his instructions? Do not look back. Yeah, do not look back. The, the, the deception of the devil is this, that you are missing out on all the fun in the world. So, so man, just live your life today. Tomorrow, you never know what's going to happen. Yeah, you don't know what's going to happen tomorrow because tomorrow you might be dead and you are standing before God and he's going to say to you, what have you done with my son, Christ Jesus? Come on. This is exactly why we need to be a watchman over our lives. You see, many have turned away from the faith because the world has tricked them to look back at what they are missing. I have missed nothing in the world. You know, I came to know Jesus Christ as Lord and Savior at 20 years. I've not missed any single thing that this world could offer me. Nothing in this world could give me joy and peace that I have because of the person Christ Jesus. Now, let me ask you this question. What happened to Lot's wife when she looked back? Come on, you can go and read this in Genesis chapter 19, verse 26. Yeah, yeah, she turned into a pillar of salt. Now, I can hear some of your men mumbling under your voice, I wish this could happen to my wife. No, no, you see, if you're a watchman, then you know how to love your wife. You know how to respect her and vice versa. Again, we need to bring Christ back into our family to give us the security in our families that are needed. The love that is lacking, we need Christ back in our homes. Now, a watchman appointed by God will not leave his or her post uh, to look back on what has been left behind. Notice this. Noah, 120 years, preached the gospel. <laughs> yeah, he was preaching for the people to turn. Well, it wasn't the gospel of the Lord Jesus Christ, but it was this. Preaching to people to turn away from their wickedness and allowing God to be part of their lives. And you know what? For 120 years, not one salvation. Not one person came to repentance. But this... When the doors closed on the ark, it was Noah and his family. <laughs> That's something to think about. If I'm a watchman over my family, then I know that my family has a security that is found in the person of Christ Jesus. You see your reward for remaining stationed at your post as a watchman is salvation. And salvation doesn't just come to you, but it comes to you in entire family. So stay at your post. Don't be discouraged. God is the one who will rescue us. So come on, be a watchman today over your life.